Welcome to the vlog, you guys. As you saw, I did some laundry, cleaning, food, avocado toast, coffee. I'm so excited right now. This looks so good. I also saw that I literally drown it in truffle hot sauce because I'm obsessed. And yeah, we have a pretty busy day today. What you didn't see is earlier this morning, I don't think I've ever, or maybe I've done it like once before, but I went to a 7.30 Orange Theory, and so I got up at 6.30, I was like very tired, and right now it's bright, you can see, but it was so dark and rainy, and so it made me in like the sleepiest mood. Anyway, I got home, it was still raining, I like showered and was so tired, Brody was still sleeping in bed, and I was like, maybe I'll just hop back in bed, and so I slept for another like hour, hour and a half, and it was so nice, like I really needed that, because I did not get any sleep last night. I like posted an Instagram story, I was like, may or may not have gone right back to bed after my orange theory but i'm happy i decided to do that and listen to my body take care of myself get a little extra rest sorry you can hear brody chomping on his bone back there he just likes to chomp away at that but i'm happy i got all that rest because i have a big couple days coming up i'm packing all these days this is going to be a packing vlog since i'm going to palm springs i'm so excited i'm going with caitlin nolan rachel ratke and their friend lily who i don't even know her last name but i'm so excited to meet all of them i actually haven't met any of them in person if you guys know them from like instagram or youtube they just seem so sweet i've spoken with them for so long like on instagram and everything and messaged with them so i feel like i know them already that's usually how it happens whenever i meet people through social media i'm like oh i already know you i already know everything that's going on i know about the boyfriend i know about the dogs i know you know like i already <laughs> like we already know each other so i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun but my flight sunday out of philly is at 6 a.m so tomorrow's saturday today's friday and so tomorrow i booked a like airport hotel right there it might even be at the airport or really close like it was worth it to me to just be there the night before So I didn't have to get up at like three here drive all the way there. You know what I mean? So that's the plan So I feel like there's a really long travel day. There was no direct flight from Philly to Palm Springs at a layover It's just like a long travel day I'm going Sunday through Wednesday and then Wednesday is also obviously a long travel day again And so I'm just proud of myself that I took a little extra hour of rest I'm trying to get like a lot of sleep tonight And that's why I'm trying to be fully packed today since tomorrow night Max is a hockey game and then I'm gonna go right to the hotel and Philly yeah, anyway, I'm talking too much. You guys will see as it goes, but I need to pack. I want to plan on my outfits. I want to pack smart. I'm notoriously an overpacker, so I need to be realistic. I'm only going to be there for three and a half days, kind of, so I need to not overpack. Guys, hold me accountable right now. Don't let me overpack. Oh, and if any of you are going to ask about my sweatshirt, it's so freaking cute. My friend McKenna here in Allentown, she has an online clothing store called Untamable, and it's just this pink sweatshirt, obviously with a big smiley face. I saw her wearing it, and I'm like where the heck did you get that it was so cute and she was like it's actually from my store bought it and a couple other pieces and i will link it down below if she still has it on her website you guys should totally support i love you mckenna i'm obsessed with all your pieces she has like the cutest stuff oh my gosh i also got this sweater i'm sure i'll show you guys it later in the vlog it's just like a long cardigan and whenever she would wear it i'm like oh my God, it's so cute like where'd you get it and she's like from my store so anyway just a little shout out i'm gonna eat my food because it's probably cold now and then we're gonna get to packing as you guys probably saw. Oh my gosh, this looks like way too much already. I was using this couch to sort of pack, look at everything, categorize it in piles, and this guy jumped right up on them. And you probably saw I was trying on some outfits. I'm just like struggling because I have like new cute clothes, like this little plaid jacket. Oh, this is also from Untamable. I think this is so freaking cute. But if you saw the outfit I threw on with it, I'm like, okay, this is so winter. So I'll probably wear that outfit though because I thought it was so cute to Max's hockey game tomorrow night. This is from, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess up my whole shirt pile right now. Well, this is just from Vivacious. It's like a mock neck white, like tight long so like basic. Okay, I have way too many clothes. Yeah, see, this seems like too much. And it's freaking going to be 90 degrees every day. But then it's like 60, 50, 60 at night. So I thought these would be good for like night. This I probably won't wear there, but like so I'm going to scheme tomorrow. My airport outfit, I'm just going to wear my Aviator Nation sweat set. I feel like that is always a good go-to. Just really comfy. And I'm bringing one other sweatshirt. My new Lulu oversized scuba half zip. This is so hard to 
just show things like bolded up. Then we've got one pair of black leggings. I thought that would be good. Little comfy sweatpant shorts. This is like workout situation. I brought my exercise dress. I have like a black Lulu long sleeve situation because that's the thing. It's like chilly in the morning and in the evening. So if we're like walking in the morning or hiking, I don't know, whatever we're going to do. It would be nice to have like a long sleeve, I feel like. Some sports bras, workout tanks. See, I probably could like cut all of this in half. Like I'm literally there. But hey, it's better to be overpacked than underpacked. I gotta go. I'm not gonna overpack this time. Completely overpacking. But like you never know what you're gonna want. Got a white long sleeve, a sweater. Okay, that I probably really don't need. Oh, this shirt I tried on if you saw. It's so cute. It just like ties in the front. It's sort of like satiny. This leather skirt from Revolve. Some plain like tank top. Got a couple of dresses. This is so cute. It's new from Princess Polly. I tried that on. Hat. White like flowy pool beachy pants. I thought would be nice to throw over. Some bathing suits because it's gonna be so hot like I said. Got PJ t-shirts, so many shorts, like too many shorts. You'll be proud though, I only grabbed one pair of jeans because I know it's gonna be hot. A lot of shorts. Oh, but then I have PJ shorts too and then like workout-y shorts I feel like are nice. And this seems also like a lot of shoes, but these look good with different outfits and they're like new boots that I got, so I really wanna bring both. We can tell I like some like nude neutrals over here. These are also newish and I love. Hair flip flops, nice little Dior sandals, casual chunky sneakers, and then like workout-y sneakers. I feel like that's good okay oh my gosh does anyone else i just get so exhausted packing like it's physically exhausting but also mentally also i don't know if you could tell but i've had like pimple patches on this entire vlog so far so sorry if you've seen that or if you've been like why the heck does there have weird circles on that that's what that is now i think i have to do my toiletries but i just need to like have a moment you guys have probably seen enough packing anyway are you gonna be okay without me you are very clingy sir i will check in with you guys before i go to her stand when i girls here we're gonna watch the game together tonight so i probably won't bring my little vlog camera or anything but <laughs> are you licking me out of this yeah i'm gonna do that and you are gonna stay here oh brody you're too attached Okay, I took off my pimple patches. Hopefully, it's making them heal. I feel like they were. What are your guys' opinions on pimple patches? But Brody and I are gonna go on a little stroll. He doesn't really look like he's in the mood though. But before I go, I wanted to remember to tell you guys, because I almost forgot today, to give him his probiotic. We do every morning, but like I told you, this morning was really weird because we went back to sleep. So, I wanted to remind you guys of the food that we feed Brody, the probiotics that he takes, <laughs> they are just from Solid Gold. Thank you so much, Solid Gold, for working with me on this video because Brody has been eating your kibble forever and ever and ever. It's the Hunden Flocken type. Sorry, I feel like the dryer is still so loud. I closed the door. Maybe if I come over here. <laughs> He does the Hunden Flocken. Kibble is just good for your large breed dog. And I've talked about how he has digestion issues sometimes. So these probiotics just really help. I remember I told you guys before, I'm having like deja vu because I know I said this, but I talked with his vet and said that these probiotics are amazing and to keep giving them to him. We only have a couple left, so I actually need to restock on this jar. So I thought he could give them to Brody. Together right now, he always thinks they're like treats. So he'll do like tricks for them. He loves these. <laughs> Those of you that ask about the brand of food, that Brody eats and the promo code. I feel like I get so many DMs being like, wait, what's that brand of food that Brody eats again? Like, I want to get it for my dog. Solid Gold Pet. And I know my code for them is still the same. So if you guys want to get 30% off select Solid Gold products, you can go to solidgoldpet.com slash Gretchen. Solid Gold Pet Food really is the best. It has amazing ingredients in there. It's just super high quality. It has like superfoods, probiotics, things that are really good for us. Like omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids are also very good for them. And I've talked about how he struggles with environmental allergies and so much of their immune immune system is affected by their digestive health. So switching to solid gold back in the day has helped so much. And these probiotics literally are a lifesaver. If you have a dog with some digestion issues, if you know, you know, <laughs> you need these. Like you need to get these, they help so much. So again, if you are interested in some good quality pet food for your cats, your dogs, I know they have cat food too. Go to solidgoldpet.com slash Gretchen. You'll get 30% off select solid gold products. Okay, let's give them to them. Sit, stay, come. Good boy. I love that he sits after he comes. We've taught him to do that. Good boy. Can okay, you sit again? Stay down. Stand. Sit. Touch. Good boy. Thank you for taking the probiotics. 
Okay, we're gonna go on our walk and then off to my girlfriends. I will catch you guys in the morning. It's way later. I showered, self tan. My hair is in that weird, like, in between wet and dry phase, so it's really puffy. I need to, like, blow dry it in a sec. But I thought I would bring you guys along because I actually had a lot of you after I showed what I got from Sephora being like, can you give us the thoughts on the stuff that you're trying out? So, especially since this is so hyped up, like, very popular, everyone talks about it. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I got the shade 5.75. Hopefully it works. I literally just guessed it looks right, but I did self tan, so it might be like a little light. So I thought I would try it out with you guys, give you my first thoughts. Starting with my primer. I always feel like rushed before a game. Like it's five o'clock and the game is at seven, but I'm like, I have so much to do because I'm leaving straight from the game for the airport. I think I told you guys how I'm staying over at the airport hotel at my flight. It's at 6 a.m. Sunday. Yeah, I'm starting to forget because I didn't even put my stuff in my suitcase yet. It's still out on the couch, so I need to hurry this up. Okay, let's see. Just put on my primer. Oh, it's a little light. Oh no, this will be good. Okay, let's see my first thought. It feels very like thin. I'm shocked because I've used the It Cosmetics CC cream for literally years. Of course, I'm like breaking out before I travel. It always happens to me because I'm like stressed. And so then I'm breaking out and it's like one time you don't want to break out early because you're going to be taking a bunch of photos. Oh, this literally is like the perfect shade. Okay, I think I got kind of lucky. Mm -hmm. Bring it down my neck. Wow, that was like the perfect amount. First impressions. Hmm, I feel like it covers around the same as my It Cosmetics CC Cream. Maybe a little less. It does look very like flawless, luminous. I like it. It like blends in with my self tanner. Can you see from like the lighting? Out oh, here you come. I feel like it's like a really good shade. So that worked out surprisingly well. Also, maybe I'll just do this off camera because I don't want to bore you. I ordered the Beauty Light Wand Blush from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pink Gas. It's like their liquid blush wand. I love the highlighter and the contour I use. So I've always wanted to try the blush, but it's always sold out. And I looked at the Charlotte Tilbury website and they had it on there. So I thought I'd grab it. Maybe I'll try that right now and then I'll show you guys how it turns out. Okay, this is how it looks. I feel like this lighting is good. You can see it's just like a very natural sort of like glowy pink. I really like it. it turned out well. My eyelashes are so crappy because some of these like came out in the front. I'm not having a good eyelash day. But I'm obsessed. I have all three of these bad boys now, and I think they're amazing. I feel like it gives me such a bronzy, contoury, yeah, bronze. And then this one I just told you about the pink. Now I'm gonna do a little highlighter. It's already very glowy, but I could do a little bit more. I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna get dressed, throw my stuff in a suitcase, and I will check in with you guys when I'm all ready. This is the fit for tonight. I think it would have looked better with a white like turtlenecky top. I got this from Grey Bandit. It's just like black and cropped but got the white and the full length. <sighs> Sorry I'm like out of breath. I'm running around getting ready and I just like get my hair. Cutest little jacket jacket. I know I showed you from my friend's Untamable store. The goldy jeans. I just have to throw on those boots. I'm wearing bricks because I've been running around. The suitcases are finally all packed. We're good to go. Backpack is packed. I'm going to load up the car. Pick up some of my friends head to the game. I'm going right to the hotel after. So I'm going to end up this vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.